I'm Theo Dolan here at Yale West, and we're gonna go interview some authors. Okay, I'm here with Alexander London, uh, and we're at Yale West. We are. So, what books have you written? I know you've written a lot. I've written a lot. I've actually written 23 books. My uh, newest is The Wild Ones, which is a talking animal fantasy adventure story about gangster raccoons uh, in a war against evil house pets. So that's my that's my latest. It's the first in a trilogy. I mean, raccoons are pretty gangster to begin with. So. Right, they're the gangsters yeah. of all the trash pandas. Yeah, I know, not red pandas. They're the coolest. Yeah, they're adorable. Um. All right. So, my first question is, what is what do you like about Y'all West? Like, what's your favorite thing about it? The enthusiasm of this festival is just amazing. Uh, there's something like ten thousand kids here coming together being excited about books and about reading and about book culture. That sense of community and just wackiness and they're up for anything. There's Hamilton sing-alongs and author bingo and also some books here and there. Uh, and that kind of enthusiasm, you just don't find that many other places in the world. I think it's a really special place and a really special day. Yeah, I love, I love Y'all West. I buy for Y'all West. Woo, I know. And try to come to the Hamilton sing-along because I'm gonna be there. I'm oh wait, oh yeah. Do you have a panel? I don't. I was thinking of going to the Safe Spaces panel, uh, but but I kind of want to come to the Hamilton one. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be singing my heart out there. All so. right. Well, that's intimidating. You're such a good singer. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um. Second question. If you were to grab a milkshake with any one of your characters, who would it be, and what kind of milkshake would you grab? I mean, my milkshake brings all the characters to the yard, uh, so they'd all come, and then I would have to pick. Uh, it would be a, it would be a vanilla milkshake because yes. I really like a vanilla milkshake. Uh, oh, who would I? Probably not the talking raccoon, because while it's fun to write about, I think if I actually met a talking raccoon and had to share a milkshake, I would freak out. Uh, in real life, raccoons are very dangerous, and their their poop is extremely toxic, so you don't want to be sharing a meal. Uh, so definitely not not. A raccoon, or his sidekick in the wild ones is a rat. So probably not the rat either. So yeah, no one from my new book, since they're all, they're all, yeah, they're all trash scavengers. <laughs> they'd probably eat your food. Yeah, they would eat my food. They wouldn't share, and I'd end up with some terrible parasite, and yeah. that would not end well for anyone. All right, so who would it be? Oh, and you're still making me pick. Uh, <laughs> I would choose. Uh, I guess I would choose uh, Knox from my YA novel Proxy. Um, because he's dashingly handsome and, and witty, and who doesn't want to have a milkshake with a dashingly handsome, witty person? I can't think of anyone. Yeah. All right, uh, final question. Who is your favorite cereal mascot, and why? My favorite cereal mascot is probably Captain Crunch, uh, because I support our troops. <laughs> And he's, he's pretty cool by doing, like, while well, he's doing it. Yeah, he's a captain. Yeah. 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 And he keeps the crunch. He never loses his crunch. It's amazing. That is the kind of, of, of service we need from our military and from our cereal. And it's good cereal. It really is. And you uh, you can make uh, Captain Crunch, you know, like Rice Krispie Treats, but made with Captain Crunch oh. instead. Yeah. Did I just blow your mind? It's delicious. Marshmallows and Captain Crunch. I gotta try that. Yes, you do. Oh, I... What are you doing still here? Why aren't you off trying it? <laughs> Uh, I'm interviewing you, but... Oh, right. That's pretty important. Okay. Oh, okay. Good excuse. Oh, your glasses are down there. Anyway. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Okay. Um, that's the end of our interview. Thanks for being interviewed. Thanks for letting me be interviewed. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>